Uh, one more question for you this morning. The idea of the auto bailout as it played out in the debate at the time, many people read it as a good shot from Clinton against Sanders. Now people are looking at it differently. Hindsight's always 2020 when you have a negative outcome. But do you think that it might have been a little unfair for Secretary Clinton to paint the TARP deal as the auto bailout deal in terms of making that case that Bernie Sanders wasn't in favor of the auto bailout. Do you think people caught on to that and maybe it hurt her in Michigan? No, you know, I don't think so, Chris. It's a really important piece of information for voters to have, not only in Michigan, but in the upcoming states too, in Ohio. You know, you can't just stand with the auto industry when it's convenient. And in the vote that really mattered, the vote of January of 2009, when President-elect Obama asked every Democrat to stand with them to save the auto industry, Senator Sanders voted no and voted against releasing that money to save the auto industry. And the right, but that was the TARP dollars. vote. Yes, but the Christina, truth is that, that is the That was the TARP vote. vote. That was about the banks. Yes, that was but, had some money for the auto bailout, but the real vote had come before, and Sanders the was on the side of bailing before, out the industry. You know that. But that vote didn't go forward. The vote that actually gave the money that saved Detroit was the vote in January 2009, and Bernie Sanders voted against it. Mm. And so I think that's a fair thing to All point right. out for voters. But, you know, I have to I say, I appreciate Chris, you making the case here. I have to say, Chris, yes. that's just one part of her economic plan. I mean, Hillary Clinton is the candidate out there talking mm. about real plans to solve the problems of today. And so we think that voters will really listen to that. Well, we look forward to hearing her make the case tonight. We thank you for making the case this morning. And as always, the secretary is invited <laughs> on to New Day to talk about what matters to the voters. Please extend our invitation. Thank as you always. so much, Chris.